hello students in my previous video i had explained on one of the broader concepts under financial management that is a financial decision i have told it that you know uh, the investment decision is again derived out of the financial decision when your financial decision uh, from where all from which all the sources you have raised the funds depending upon the raised funds this investment decision uh, will uh, take place where you are going to you know go ahead with the allocation utilization of the funds what you have acquired or raised out of the financial decision and financial decision where it is one of the crucial decisions where the financial manager plays a vital role you know in taking an optimal or the ideal decision with respect to the uh, finance all right so now in this video i'll explain i'll just get into the core concept a very important concept you know that you all have to understand and learn that is very important this question is very important from exam viewpoint as well you can be asked you know uh, to give the meaning of capital structure and to explain the factors that which affects the capital structure fine so before uh, moving um, to the uh, factors we shall understand what is a capital structure is all about see basically capital structure it is nothing but you know uh, the mix or proportion or the combination or the composition of different sources of long term such as you have equity shares see say for example now i want 10000 rupees as capital i'm just taking a small amount for the better understanding i want uh, 10000 rupees now so i can go for uh, issue of shares you know for 5000 rupees 2000 i can go in form of a uh, preference shares right 3000 i can go in form of a uh, debentures this this gives me the capital structure this tells that how the 10000 rupees your capital is been formed is it you know uh, with the combination or composition of debt is to equity or debt is to equity is to preference in my case the example what I gave you know it, it, it was dealt with a three uh, uh, the items one is equity preference and the one is the debenture so you have long term funds like the preference equity uh, retained earnings right the earnings which was retained out of the profits what the company has uh, made and debentures uh, long term loans that is in the total capitalization of a company right so equity talks about you know the entire amount whereas the equity capital is there it states that from each individual what is the contribution of equity in order to make up that particular equity amount right and in other way how you have to understand is that see a capital structure is basically a ratio of you know uh, the different kinds of securities which is to be raised by a firm and in terms of you know a long term of finance where you know the capital structure it involves a uh, two uh, decisions uh, mainly like you know a type of securities you know that needs to be you know issued uh, you know in, in form of equity or in form of a preference and long term borrowings as well so this states about uh, the meaning of capital structure moving forward uh, what's the definition of capital structure see according to Gerd Stenberg he says that capital structure of a company it refers to the compositions again he's telling that it's a combination a capital structure is something that gives you the mix that shows the financing mix how your capitalization that is how your capital is formed that is by considering the long-term capital sources like loans you have the reserves where reserves is uh, kept apart you know out of the profits or the earnings what the company has made and in in form of shares and the bonds fine and there's one more person uh, by name i am pandey he, he states that you know uh, capital structure is something that which you know like refers to the mix of long term sources of funds again he also mentions about the items so capital structure is basically it's a mix of long term sources but not the short term sources kindly understand this particular thing because long term sources there's something which is useful where uh, the maturity is of more than you know one year one year is something it uh, talks about you know the short term assets whereas of uh, more than one year or you know more than five years it talks about medium and you know the long-term assets right so here what happens here i am pandey he also states that a few examples that are you know a debentures a long-term debts a preference share capital uh, the equity uh, share capital that which also includes you know uh, the surplus of the organization see something that you know uh, uh, 
capital structure you know it shouldn't be confused with the financial structure and the asset structure while the financial structure you know it consists of uh, the short term debt a long term debt a shareholders fund like inclusive of all the entire left hand side of the company's balance sheet but the capital structure consists of long term debt and shareholders fund only right so here you know uh, the capital structure of a firm is you know it's a part of its financial structure where some experts you know of uh, financial management they include the short term debt in the composition of a capital structure if that's the case then there is no difference between the two terms whereas the capital structure and financial structure is what it is talking about capital structure is different from financial structure isn't it see it is a part of financial structure whereas capital structure it is all about the com you know combination makes a proportion of the long term debt and the equity in the total capital of the company on the other hand this financial structure is all about you know uh, the net worth or the owner's equity and it also states about the liabilities which is you know long term as well as uh, you know the short term right so now we shall uh, uh, discuss upon uh, what are the ways importance of a capital structure the first one is increase in a value of the firm now what does increase in value of the firm states about see a sound capital structure of a company it is going to help you know in order to increase the market price a sound capital structure talks about how effective best capital structure you know optimal capital structure ideal capital structure of a company it is going to increase you know the market price of the shares and the securities as well which in return it is going to have a positive impact on the value of the uh, firm right so that's how the things are going to work when you have you know uh, when you plan and when you are going to maintain you know an ideal a uh, capital structure the next step what you have is uh, the utilization of you know the available funds now what does it talk about see a good capital you know structure it always enables a business enterprise that is to you know like uh, utilize the available funds fully and you know like a properly designed capital structure it is going to ensure the determination of the financial requirements of the firm and you know uh, raise the funds in such proportions you know like from various sources for their best possible utilization and always a sound capital you know structure it is going to protect the business enterprise from over capitalization and under capitalization is something like so if you want 10000 rupees as capital it shouldn't you shouldn't acquire it in excess more you should not because all those you don't know how you have to deal with that extra amount in the same way there shouldn't be you no know, under capitalization i want 10000 but i have uh, got just 8000 i was able to just acquire 8000 this speaks about under capitalization when there are inadequate uh, you know funds you have it in your hand then how can you meet your obligations again it's not possible fine so this talks about the utilization of available funds the next step what you have is uh, the maximization of a return now what does maximization of a return uh, communicate see uh, an effective or an optimal capital structure it it actually you know enables the management to increase the profits of a company that is uh, in the form of higher returns to the equity shareholders that is like you know increase in earnings per share see this can uh, no it can be done by the mechanism of you know trading on equity that is you know it tells about the increase in the proportion of the debt capital that which is going to happen in the capital structure which is the cheapest source of a capital if the rate of return on capital is employed that is you know a shareholders fund is there along with that plus a long term borrowings also there this exceeds you know the fixed rate of interest paid to the debt holders and the company is said to be you know a uh, trading on equity so maximization of return is very important again we have one more concept while minimizing the risk right next up minimization of a cost of a capital now what does minimization of cost of capital uh, states about see uh, a sound capital structure you know of any business enterprise like a big company or small company it has to maximize the shareholders wealth through minimization right so we have learned the objectives we have profit maximization we have a wealth maximization so this particular uh, you know point it deals with the shareholders wealth that is through the minimization of the overall uh, cost of the capital 
isn't it so this can also be done you know by incorporating certain you know the long term debt capital in the capital structure you know as the cost of debt capital is lower than the cost of equity or uh, lower than the preference a share capital since the interest on debt is tax deductible it is a very very important so the next point what you have is a solvency or a liquidity position and what does it talk about solvency is something if the company has borrowed it from outsiders it should be in a position to repay it back the ability to repay it back that talks about solvency position liquidity yes see a sound uh, you know the capital structure it never allows a business enterprise that is uh, you know to go for too much raising of the debt capital see the more you go for debt capital the more you are dealing with the factor of risk right when you are going for more of outsiders funds what 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 is happening even your interest is increasing the risk involved with that is also increasing and at the time of uh, you know there's a kind of a sick earning or is there any kind of you know poor earning the solvency is disturbed right for the compulsory payment of the interest to the debt supplier so that is a really very very important then the next step what you have is uh, flexibility see a sound capital structure you know it provides a, a space or a kind of room for the expansion or a reduction of debt capital so that according to the needs or the circumstances the conditions the adjustment you know of the capital can be made and there is a last point that which focuses on uh, the minimization of a financial risk what what does it talk about see if debt component you know it is going to increase in the capital structure of the company you know the financial risk uh, that is the payment of you know the fixed interest charges and the repayment of you know the principal amount of debts going to happen in time and it will also increase see a sound capital structure protects a business enterprise from such a financial risk that is through a judicious mix of the debt and equity in the capital structure so whenever the financial manager is a planning or taking a decision with respect to the capital structure he should always determine he should be you know aware of a certain things only he has to go ahead with all these aspects of you know the, you know deciding upon the financing mix of the organization well this is all about the meaning of capital structure and the importance of capital structure